so we'll see the first transaction code uh, you brought that is okay. to create a laboratory okay to create a laboratory uh, okay. that laboratory is where you will send your uh, employees you know for medical mm -hmm. such a laboratory if you want to create the uh, transaction code is ehsbp41 <laughs> EHS? BP. B for Bangalore. Okay. Uh, BP. Okay. EHS BP? 41. 41. 41. Yes. Slash in, no? No, 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 not yet. No what internal standard, no internal standard grouping exists. Oh God. Okay, try EHS BP 42. <laughs> this is a new server actually. Uh -huh. Okay. 42. Yeah, business partner. Okay, so click on that uh, drop down list. But this transaction code is related to changing the uh, laboratory. No problem, you select. Some list. Press enter. Okay. No, no, do one thing, do one thing. Uh, partners by DP role. Third option is there, no? Partners by DP role. Yeah, select that. Now enter. Okay, do one thing that the HEA 040 is there. No, click on that arrow mark. Click on the arrow mark. Okay, now go to wherever you find laboratory. You go and select that laboratory. Here, sir. Yeah, go down HEA. It will be starting with HEA. Go down. Okay. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. One. Oh, it went above. It went above. H E H. Go to H. You are right now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. This is here. So you. Huh? No, 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 no. You should select a laboratory. See, the laboratory okay. is there, no? H E H. Okay. I think that is the one. Okay, no problem. Double click that. Now press enter. No, what is for? What is wrong with this? Okay, do one thing. Mm -hmm. uh, I think there is some issue with this server. I think there is no data. No mm -hmm. problem. If you love this, I will give you one more server we can log in. Okay. Close it off. Again, go to the beginning. Even close this. Okay. Variable login? Uh, yes, variable login. 18382. 18382. 120, 214. Okay. 214, 214. Okay, 214. Okay. Instant number 17. Okay. EH7. Login. Uh, now, uh, 17 from 62. Okay. Remove caps lock. Okay. Uh, now, uh, welcome seven. Welcome seven. Uh, okay. <clears throat> okay, now enter EHS BP41.
Now yes. it is working. Yeah. yeah. So this is where you will create a laboratory. Okay. Okay. Uh, like uh, think this laboratory as your business partner or be, or it is a vendor. Because if you are taking the services from any laboratory, which is another company, then that will be your vendor. Okay, okay. so what you need to do is uh, you have to fill all the details related to this laboratory. For example, in the first page, first time, name of the laboratory and uh, its address, PO box number, all the details you have to fill. So start with name. You can enter any name, Apollo Laboratory or SRL Diagnostics or anything hmm. to give some name for the laboratory. Okay. Okay. Yeah, right. Now come to salutation. Okay. In salutation, you should uh, write MS. Because for a company, that is the salutation. No? You can't call it uh, Mr. or Mrs. Miss, you cannot call it. So it will okay. be M slash S. <laughs> or MS, that is also fine. Okay. Hmm. Now come below under the search term. Like if you want to add any keyword, you can add like aster. Aster can be a search term, you know, if you want to search. This will be hmm. very useful. Okay. And uh, there you can put pharmacy. Search okay. term to maybe pharmacy. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Now come below street number and house number you have to put something some uh, random number okay. Okay. postal okay. code should be how many characters six characters otherwise uh, it will give it it should always uh, be six letters okay. six characters no <laughs> uh, uh, six letters okay Okay, on the see on the house number also you see you should write the house number. Street number you write some uh, single digit, hmm. and house number you can enter that. Yeah, mm -hmm. don't add uh, don't add the uh, letter. You just okay. put number. Okay. Yeah. Uh, on the <laughs> on the right hand side see there is one more box on the right hand side above. Um, where you enter the house number. Okay, okay. So here I can remove it and I will enter it here. Okay. Okay, right. City. So city, I will just put Chennai. Okay. Uh country code I need to search now here. Ah, you can. So here we can search also, no? Here you can you can search. Otherwise, you can uh, you will find it is there. India is there. Okay. You can even search no problem. Or directly okay. also you can put IN. Ah, uh, okay. India means IN only. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now, uh, enter the PO box number. If you want to enter a PO box number, you can enter. Or directly, you can enter the postal code. Mm, postal code. Same, same postal code. Yeah. Okay. Okay. See, now there are two postal codes here. One is uh, normal postal code, it is asking. Another is mm. company postal code, which means mm. if that is the head office for this laboratory. And mm. if you want to mention some the the head office postal code. In mm -hmm. that case, we can enter the postal code there. For okay, the multiple. Okay. Yeah, multiple. Otherwise, it is not required. If it is okay. single location, then no need. Okay, so then we can leave it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Then come to the communication part. Uh, select a language in which you will be communicating with the laboratory. Mm -hmm. Okay. The telephone number, some random telephone number. Mm -hmm. Hmm. OK. 
okay and a mobile number if there is any mobile number you can mention mm. that okay and uh, email address also you can mention email address oh, okay <clears throat> uh, put info at uh, info at uh, aster.com something Hmm. And the standard communication method is whenever you want to speak to this laboratory people, whether hmm. you are going to call them or are you going to send email. So that you hmm. have to select the standard communication. Normally, hmm. what we do in uh, Gulf and all, they will send uh, email. Yeah. Email. Or, yes. Uh, in India and all, we will simply pick up the phone and we'll speak to them. So anything, yes. either email or. Uh, the telephone can be a uh, standard communication. Okay, we, we can. So there is no multiple option for that, no? Email and uh, telephone. Uh, no, multiple option is not there. You can select any one of them. Okay, okay. So this, uh, what is this here? Other communication extension, extension law they put here. In the communication. Other communication means, uh, I mean, if you want to send uh, through any other means of communication, like. Uh, other means of communication means what I can say. So click on that. <laughs> if, if there is any other way of communication, then you can okay. mention how you are going to communicate. Normally, we don't use that. What is happening here? In other communication, uh, it's it asking. No, it is asking for PO box number. So I think that is a mandatory data. Enter some PO okay. box number. Fine. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's it, no? Uh, so now we'll check. Okay. okay. So See, other communication. Uh, so so other telex is there, tele telefax is there, URL is there. Mm. Okay. <laughs> major, major services are there. Or if you want to directly some send some printout to the laboratory, you can mm -hmm. select that. Secure so These are all different communication methods. Mm -hmm. Which normally you don't use. Normally either email or telephone will be more than sufficient. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So company postal code is also not required. Okay. So, so go to the next sorry, sir. We can go to the next page. Okay. Or so here this. Is, see, uh, this, no, these are the common co communication uh, medium only. Na? Th these are the things. This is fine na? for yeah. uh, to communicate. Yeah, this is yeah, enough. yeah. Minimum, okay. minimum telephone and email ID is sufficient. But again, mm. if you want to maintain more data, more options for communication, you can mm -hmm. add data line number or uh, telebox number. <coughs> All okay. these are additional uh, options that are given to you. Okay. If you want, you can enter all those details. Otherwise, minimum uh, requirement is telephone mm -hmm. number and email. Okay, sir. So now we can move on to address overview. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Fine. So address overview basically it is nothing but whatever the address details you have maintained in the first tab, those mm -hmm. address will be copied to the address overview. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. So now here. If you want to see the print preview, let's say if you want to take a printout of the address, the laboratory and paste it on some document, you can mm. just select that first row of the address overview. And if you click on print preview, it will show how the address will appear. Mm -hmm. So that if you want to stick it to any of uh, your like uh, envelope, if you want to send or if you want to send some document or any sample if you want to send to the laboratory. So you can mm. directly take the printout of the address of the laboratory and you can paste it onto that uh, sample uh, container or to okay. the envelope or somewhere, anywhere you can paste that address. Click on mm. the print preview and you can see the main address what you have entered. It will appear like this. Mm. 
Yes. Okay. <clears throat> okay, this is like an example. If you want to print the address, you can print it like this. Okay. Okay, this is your address overview tab. Okay. Next tab is identification. Okay. Identification means see, before you engage with any of the laboratory, first you mm. should fill some of the details related to the company. Like you have mm. your legal form, legal entity, when was that laboratory founded, or if that laboratory was taken uh, over by any other company, then mm. that is known as liquidation date. So these details you have to maintain for your business partner. So legal mm. form means uh, there will be some option, whether it is a private company or a public company or a joint stock company. Now, normally, the laboratories will be the private company. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that is the legal form. Next, legal entity means that property is a private property or whether it's a public property or whether it's an insurance company. These are, again, uh, different options are being available under legal entity. So, if property. we are speaking about laboratory, it will be a private property. Yes, of course. Okay, next is date founded. When was this laboratory came into existence? Mm -hmm. Some date you can select. Okay. okay. And what then I told you what is liquidation date? Liquidation date. Liquidation date means, uh, let us say I start a laboratory in 1995. Okay, okay, after 10 years or after 15 years in 2010, some other mm. big company like Apollo Hospitals, mm. they wanted to take over my laboratory. They want to pay my pay me the uh, money and they want to take over the laboratory. So mm. the date on which I sign the document and I say. Okay, from today, this property, this laboratory belongs to Apollo Hospitals. That mm. date is known as a liquidation date. Mm. The date on which a laboratory was completely taken over by another entity or another company. Mm -hmm. Okay, that date is known as a liquidation date. Again, this is not applicable for all the laboratories. See, some yeah, laboratories yeah. are there from 50 years also. They have not given that laboratory to some other company. So it is not mandatory. Uh, mm -hmm. If your laboratory was taken over, then you can mention the date. Otherwise, not. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay. So this is international location number one, location number two. Means okay. if Which your laboratory country? has international presence. Okay. For example, if Apollo or Manipal has a international presence, then you know you have to. Enter the pin code, not a country name. It is the pin code what you should mention. Mm -hmm. So let's say Astar Pharmacy is also in Dubai. Yeah. Okay, that international location pin code you can mention. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, no, it's not showing anything here uh, okay. no it will not so you have to enter you have to enter the pin code pin code mm. so randomly we can put some number oh you can you can okay 15. <clears throat> okay. what is check digit check the digit i don't know press f1 or uh, right click and uh, go to help yeah, what the hell? Let's see. Check this, International location number part three. The check digit is derived from a special check digit procedure from digits of previous international location numbers. In this way, you can check whether the IELN entered is actually valid. Okay, I don't know. This is used to check for any international location number. Okay. Check digit. I don't so, know what it is. <clears throat> okay. So this identification yeah, okay. number, external BP uh, number. External BP number means, let us say before you use SAP, 
uh, this laboratory, what you are creating, you were already having business with them. Okay. Mm. So if you were maintaining the details of this vendor in Excel sheet, then normally you will have a unique number, serial number for this uh, laboratory. That serial number you should mention in this external BP number. Means before using SAP, if you had assigned any unique number to this uh, laboratory, that external BP number you can mention. Again, it is only valid if you were already engaged with this uh, laboratory before implementing SAP. Otherwise, you don't have to enter anything here. Got it? No, let us say you were not using any SAP software before, but still you were having business with this laboratory. So at that time, some number you will give to this uh, uh, laboratory. No? That number you should mention here. Okay, go to control. No, it is invalid because I think it should contain some uh, digits. I think six digits. <laughs> okay, fine. Leave it. No, no problem. No, I think it will not show anything. Okay, next control authorization group means which SAP who can see whether other people can see all the details of this laboratory or you want to keep this details of the laboratory restricted. There are three options, very restricted, restricted and unrestricted. So unrestricted means anybody can see the bank account details of this uh, laboratory or uh, the legal entity details, all that administration data, if you want, they can see. A restricted means the other people cannot see the bank account details and other details of the laboratory. They can only see the name and the address of this uh, business partner. Very restricted means they cannot even see the address of the laboratory, even that will be hidden, except the name of the laboratory. So these are the three options. If you want to keep it restricted, then other SAP users can only see the name and address of this laboratory. So it is your wish, whatever you want to uh, provide as the authority. And if you want to take a print, any print from this uh, business partner, whether you want to use the Braille system or you want to take as a normal. These are the two options available. Braille means you know, no? Braille system? No, no, sir. Braille language you don't know? No, sir. Ah, the blind and the deaf. They speak in sign language, no? Or, you know, uh, on a paper, there will be dots. Okay, they will move their hand, finger on the dots, and they can find out what uh -huh. is the message written on the paper. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that is the Braille system. Uh -huh. okay. okay, but this is not uh, used. You can select large print. <coughs> Okay, next data origin. So whatever data you are filling here, from where did you get that? That is known as data origin. So it can be either from the legacy data. Legacy data means from your files, from the hard copies, that is legacy data. Or purchase address data set means if you have uh, from some other source, if you have purchased that address uh, details, that is another source. Or transfer of legacy data from legacy system. Let us say you were using some other software before SAP. Let us say you were using Oracle system. So from Oracle, if you are migrating to SAP, then you call it that yeah, the transfer of data take, taken place from the legacy system to your new system. That is another option. So all these options, what you see here, this is nothing but from where did you get the data? The data origin details you have to mention. So normally it will be legacy data because if you are not, if you are not using any SAP system or any software, normally you will get the data from the hard copies. So you can call it as a legacy data. 
from the hard copies or from the excel file or from uh, from the file normal file from that if you are taking the data and entering here you will call that as a legacy data okay fine next go to payment transactions payment transactions are done by the accounts people you don't have any role here you don't have to enter because here all the bank details and uh, other uh, account details are entered this will be taken care by the accounts team so no need of this go to status tab in status tab see first is archiving flag means if you want to save the data transaction data whatever transactions you do with this laboratory if you want to save the data in archival then you can select this archiving flag okay if you select archiving flag what will happen whatever transactions you do whatever dealing you do with this laboratory all the data will be saved in a archival file that is known as archiving all the historical transaction data will be available to so not uh, not each and every data we have to do this flagging na so is it say any important yeah yeah you yeah, only if it is important you need archival documents otherwise it's not required normally if the financial transactions are in excess of let us say 1 crore okay you feel it is very sensitive information then yes you can archive all the data transactions but for very less amounts and all it is not required for 10000 20000 and all you just don't have to archive all the data not required again it depends on the company policy see some companies they retain the data for 5 years for a period of 5 years you have to keep all the data in such cases you have to use archiving flag okay understood archiving yeah. <laughs> yeah next is lock under lock you have two options central block and not release not release means see until and unless you are, you have not completely entered this data for this business partner you cannot use this uh, laboratory okay let us say this is a new laboratory which you are creating still you have not verified whether the laboratory is good or not whether they have the license or not we have just created the name in the sap okay but you should not allow the people to use this laboratory until and unless you have verified all the details like license the background verification of the laboratory all that you should first do and then only you can start using the services of the laboratory so until then what you should do you have already created so what you can do is you can select the option not release okay if you select the option not release then other people still cannot use the this this uh, business partner they cannot use the services of this laboratory until and unless you again come back and remove this uh, not released option okay so you can select this not released okay if you still want to further understand press f1 or uh, go to help there they will give very clearly what is the meaning of this. oh okay Yeah, they did. Yeah, if you have not set this indicator, you can use this business partner in questions. If you have set the indicator, you should not use this business partner for application process yet. It data must be checked first. Okay. Yeah. So okay. what it says is, if you have set the indicator, if you have selected the indicator, then you should not use this uh, laboratory as of now. First, you verify all the data. and if the data is correct then you remove that indicator once you remove mm. the indicator only then you can use the laboratory services that is what they are saying. okay similarly check to that uh, central block also you right click and uh, because i don't remember i have forgotten the central block Okay, okay certain activities cannot be executed 
if the mm. business partner is blocked centrally certain mm. activities cannot be executed okay it means maybe you cannot make the payment sometimes if you want to block the payments to your vendor what you can do is you can block once you block mm. even you know from other modules like from finance module they cannot make payment to this vendor it will be blocked okay so if you mm. want to stop payment to this vendor you can block it so th this lock is for optional lock only if it is whether we can use a not released or center block whether we cannot no. use anything both, both of the things also we can because it's uh, released yes, thing means we cannot do. use this mm. yeah yes, okay. yes. So if I select uh, not release, then you know they cannot use uh, this uh, laboratory. That is also mm -hmm. fine. Once mm -hmm. you have confirmed this uh, laboratory is a good laboratory, they have the valid license, they have a good reputation. You check everything. Then when you are satisfied, you can release this. Yeah. Then no you know, people can start using. Yes. Okay. Yes. That is the meaning of. Status now. Okay. So here the status management. Uh, anything we need to enter? Ah, uh, that will be taken care by the technical team. They will. Okay. If you want to maintain more than one type of status for this laboratory, then mm -hmm. you know you can ask the technical team. They will create more number of status. Okay. Currently, this status is active. Okay. So, where used list? Where you? Yeah. Yeah. So, see, for example, if the same business partner is used in some other module, or in uh, let's say in some other component, let's say you are using same vendor in uh, maybe in industrial hygiene and safety. So, what will happen? it will check and it will show you whether you were using this uh, same business partner in some other model so that is known as a where used list if the name of this vendor matches with any other module if they have registered this vendor in any other module then what it will do it will show that already this uh, vendor is active and in so and so module it is used it like that it will show you but provided already with that name a vendor should be already available in the system only then it will show otherwise it will not so you can expand that uh, arrow mark there under usage if it was used before then it will show you the detail otherwise it will not show anything okay sir okay you yeah, understand so address okay. tab address overview then we saw identification where we put the legal entity details etc etc then the control functions also we implemented like archiving central log etc uh, then the payment transactions will be taken care by the accounts team and in status also you can define the status uh, so these are some of the tabs which we have seen now what you have to do is again go back to address tab no 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 don't save it don't save okay Okay. Go to address tab, mm -hmm. and under grouping, you can see on top there is one option called uh, grouping. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. There you go and uh, select internal number assignment. Internal number assignment, huh? Yeah. So that the system itself will give a number to this business partner. Okay. Now ah, okay. you press enter. Enter directly. Press enter. Ah, uh, press enter. Okay. Now save. Okay. Continue. No problem. No problem. Fine. So your uh, laboratory is created, and the number that has been assigned to this laboratory is six zero eight zero eight sir. Eight. Okay. Okay. In further, if you want to search any laboratory, you can either use business partner number or whatever the search terms you have used. By using that also, you can search for that particular laboratory. Hmm. 
okay so this is how you create a laboratory so we can search a laboratory by this uh, name or the number the uh, business uh -huh. partner yeah yes okay this see sir, on the uh, left hand side tell tell yeah, yeah tell me sir no tell me no problem yeah no sir this uh, business partner number na it will be have some uh, uh, similar way or uh, if it is 6080 it's starting from 66 and all it will be a similar you know, we can uh, check otherwise it will be a random number how we can check it uh -huh. the number if we don't no, 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 know no it will be serially assigned oh, it serially, will be serially okay. assigned okay yeah because there will be a number range let us say from 60 thousand to uh, eighty thousand that is the number range fixed for laboratory okay. so whenever you create any new laboratory what will happen it will serially start assigning the number uh, so before okay. this whoever created laboratory that laboratory number will be zero eight zero eight six like that okay. serially it okay. Will happen. okay yeah and on the left hand side also see there is one uh, small uh, uh, section is there mm -hmm. known as a uh, find yeah. so why this section is used if you know any other laboratory name okay mm. or if you want to search any laboratory what you can mm. do is you can go into that uh, if you know the number you can put the number or if you know the name of the laboratory you can search by that name that is why you have this option mm. called find so search for a particular laboratory mm. but i mm. don't know the server uh, i don't know what if they have any laboratory name or not. Okay. Yeah, Sir, but uh, what, is, what, is the, what is the transaction code to find this uh, 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 laboratory and all? Any transaction code separate for this one? So now we are, we created one uh, laboratory and all. Yes. The role, everything yeah. we created, everything. So fine. Yes. So now we are going to search for a laboratory. We have a so many laboratories. We are going to search for a same, one laboratory, the same laboratory. So how we can yeah. go and find? It? You can find it here itself. See, that is why on the left hand side, select business okay. partner, mm -hmm. and if you have, if you know the, see, either you can search it by name. If you click, click on that name, uh, mm -hmm. either name or external number or number or search term. Mm -hmm. So by using any of these terms you can search for any other laboratory mm -hmm. okay. okay for example if you know the if you know the name of any laboratory which is already created in this system you can mm -hmm. enter that name and you can search for example okay. apollo if you want to search if there is a, a laboratory by the name apollo you can just mm -hmm. enter that name apollo and if you mm -hmm. start if there is a, a laboratory with that name it will appear below Mm. Where there is a partner and description, no, there it will appear. Okay. I don't know, but still you can search. No, no, just to uh, check. Okay. Yeah. If it is there, it means it will be respond, na. Yeah. Will, yeah, it will show here below. It will. Okay. Ah, see, it is there. See, it is there. Yeah. So yeah. if you double click on that, I don't know because we are uh, currently in a creating laboratory. So I don't know. It will show the details okay no it will not show here what mm -hmm. you can do is go to uh, if you want to display any laboratory details go to mm -hmm. ehsbp 43 ehsbp 43 okay yes uh, slash and put slash in Hmm. One second. Huh? <clears throat> okay, continue, continue. So this is display organization. Since we hmm. created this Aster pharmacy, as soon as you come to display, it will show the same. But now what hmm. you can do, go and uh, select Apollo there in the name and press enter. Start. Start. Hmm. 
Hmm. Okay. So already I don't know maybe I myself or somebody they have created this Apollo laboratory. Now if you double click, what will happen? It will show all the details for this laboratory. Apollo laboratory. Continue. No. Oh, okay. Uh, do one thing. Their business partner is there. No. Why it is not showing? Uh, find is there. No. Find business partner. You do one thing. See if there is any other option available. No. So no, before there was one number, not the number we need to enter on it. No. Ah, you can do that. You can do that. But uh, do you remember that number? No. I need to take a picture or otherwise, because there is a big number, na. Previously it ah. was a big number. So what I will do? Let me sir start first. Once we the number was shown, we'll take a picture and we will search Six by. Zero seven eight. Say yeah, six zero seven five eight three. Six zero. Six zero seven five eight three. It is showing there below. It is coming out. Yeah. yeah. So there is by number by number there is lot of things there here. Ah, see, it will not only show your laboratory; it will show even external company. Many things it will show. Uh -huh, so uh -huh. go to six zero seven five eight three and try to double click on that. Six zero seven five eight three. Ah, you can use. You can use. Six zero seven five. No, remove that and uh, search. Remove that uh, selection. Mm. It's okay. You do one thing. You go down. You just go down and. Uh, Seven so, five eight three. <clears throat> I think it is not available in this. Maybe there is uh, some data is missing. I believe. See, it is not yeah. showing six zero seven five eight. It is not there so, in this. Just it showing the business partner number alone. I think it's uh, the data. Uh -huh. it, it was not created. I think so. I don't know uh, what's wrong. But here, see, under partners, it is not showing. Yeah. Uh, do one thing. If there is any other laboratory, if they have mentioned any name, you can add that. Uh, see, search in that list. Search in that list. If you find anything called laboratory, go down and see anything like a laboratory, something if they have mentioned. Mm. Then you can see those details. Because it will not show only laboratory; it will show all the data. That is um, again difficult. See this Priyanka. This all these are there. No Pooja Thakur. I think they are physicians. Somebody has created a physician. Okay. So that is why those names are coming. It will even show the physician's name. It will show external company, etc., etc. Why when we? I think. Hmm. Okay, when we are clicking this information, also it's showing our uh, which we created the uh, business partner number flagging actually. Oh, no. yeah. yeah, I don't know. Maybe there is some something wrong. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay. Maybe apart from our laboratory, there is no other laboratory. That can be another reason. Okay. If there is no other laboratory, also it will show something like this. Yeah. Okay. 
okay so i see this most of the time what you find is these uh, servers will not have enough data in it mm. okay no problem <coughs> go to another transaction code mm. ehsbp42 that is if you want to edit any data in this slash, slash one, slash one. ehsbp42 bp42 yeah so again by default it will open the same uh, laboratory our laboratory so it's open if you want to edit any data you can edit and you can again save it okay wait a minute it's uh... Ah, oh, mm. it is correct. Continue. Okay. This is part number. Okay. Yeah. Now, if you want to make some changes, right, in this, let okay, us say okay. if you want to change name, if you want to change any other detail, mm -hmm. or if you want to change telephone number, you can mm -hmm. edit that. Edit the data, and again, you can save this laboratory. Okay. So, in the laboratory, there is no detail. No, it's maybe we only created one laboratory detail, I think. That is why yeah, it's I showing so. uh -huh. directly. Okay, otherwise yeah, there yeah. is the option it will show, na? Here, okay. Yes, yes, yes. See, especially in, uh, when you go and search and under find, if there hmm. are other laboratory, it will show the laboratories, but it is not showing. Means yeah. maybe apart from our laboratory, there is no other uh, laboratory available. It was showing oh. a whole. But I don't know for some reason that uh, details of Apollo laboratory is not displaying. True. I don't know. Maybe the data is incomplete. Maybe that could be the reason. Hmm. Okay. But remember, these are the three transaction codes related to laboratory: EHS BP forty one, forty two, and forty three. Okay. Now I will give you assignments. Uh, okay. You run. Okay. See, now you saw how to create a laboratory, right? So similar yeah. to that, there are okay. other roles, other uh, data objects also which you can create. For example, mm. you can create external company. You can create a, a medical center, sorry, mm. health center. You can create physician. So what I will do mm. is I will give you the transaction codes. Hmm. Write on EHS BP fifty one. If you want to create external company, EHS BP fifty one. Fifty one. Yeah. Okay. That yeah. is for similarly, uh, create external company. Okay. Similarly, EHS BP fifty two to change external company, and EHS BP fifty three to display external company. This three you remember. Okay. Now after that again you write down to create a health center. Create okay. health center. EHS BP thirty one. EHS BP thirty one. Okay. To create health center. EHS BP thirty two to change health center. Okay. And EHS BP thirty three to display health center. Okay. And one more, EHS BP eleven to create physician. Let's say you want to uh, create any doctor, okay, or okay. if you want to employ any doctor as a business partner, okay. So you can create a physician also using EHS BP eleven. Eleven, okay. And uh, change physician EHS BP twelve. Okay. And uh, display uh, physician EHS BP thirteen. Okay. 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 So these three objects you create: health center, okay. physician, and external company. Okay. okay. So before that, you just go to the transaction and code and see. It will be same like this. What you find in laboratory, same number of tabs, same everything will be same. So just to confirm that, you go to EHSBP fifty one, EHSBP thirty one. EHSBP eleven. Okay, this is external company. Mm -hmm. Same. How you follow yeah. the procedure, right? In your uh, yeah. uh, laboratory, same thing here also. Yes. Yeah. Focus. Okay. 
everything is same yeah yeah next go to yeah. vhs bp31 the so that will also be same slash n vhs bp31 Uh, yeah, road health center. Yes. Ah, fine. This is your health center. So even here, data will be exactly the same. There is no difference. And okay. now go to EHS BP11. Here there will be little difference. I will mm -hmm. tell you. If you go to identification, under mm -hmm. identification you will find uh, gender of the doctor, whether married mm -hmm. or unmarried, whether uh -huh. nationality, what is the nationality. Only these mm -hmm. details are different because. A physician is a person. It is not a company. Individual person. Yes, sir. Individual person. Yes. So, yeah. So that is why under identification, you will find hmm. these details which are different from other roles. Okay. Sir. Okay. So it is also easy. There is no. It's not uh, very difficult. You create hmm. uh, external company, physician, okay. and health center. Okay, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Fine. So uh, we'll continue with other transaction codes. Mm. So what do we have? Okay, go to this customizing. There is one transaction code for customization. Mm. EHS CBER slash n. Sorry. EHS slash EHS, EHS? CBER C B. B for B. Bombay. Okay. Uh, B. E. E R. Uh, uh. Okay. I will uh, write it down. Customize consultations. Okay. E H S E B E R. For customization. Okay. To customize consultations. See, normally, okay. you know, in a hospital, there will be different customized, uh, different consultations. When okay. you go to the doctor, if you have to select what kind of consultation you want to take. Okay, so I mean, I have already added many consultations to the list. You can see standard consultations were occupational consultation, ergonomics, rehabilitation, mm -hmm. and I think uh, only that many were there. Then I added all the other things. Like mm -hmm. gynecology, orthopedic, neurological, okay, dietary, vaccination related, all that I created. Mm -hmm. So these are the different consultations. So in your company, if there is any other consultation available apart from mm -hmm. this, then you can add those consultations also to the existing list. What other medical consultation? Did you have added all? Orthopedic also I have added. If there is any other consultation, we can add that. Uh, for uh, children, what what is that called? Uh? For the child care. Ah, uh, child care. Pediatric, pediatric consultation. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. We can add that. I think pediatric consultation is not there. Go to new entries. Okay. And uh, select the number double zero one four. Double zero one four consultation number. And add a description as pediatric. P A E. P A E. D I A. D I A. Pediatric. That is for children. D I A. D I A, na? No? Ah. Oh. T R I C. T R I C. Pediatric consultation. Okay, in the list in which number you want this to come, you can add that as a sequence number. If you want this to come in the first uh, row, then you can add zero one. Mm -hmm. Sequence number. Yeah. Okay. Now enter and save this consultation. Okay, save. So 
कंटिन्यू according uh, to the sequence yeah. it will go up if it is yeah, there, yeah, there is sequence number 1 it will go upside yeah? Hmm. yeah 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 maybe if you put 8 maybe then it will come under uh, 7 under gynecology it may come hmm but it's okay no problem it is coming okay. in the list you have added one more new consultation to the list hmm. so now if anybody want to take their children for the consultation they can take it this is also available Yeah, okay. this is known as a customization. Okay. So as a SAP HS consultation uh, consultant, you will be doing this uh, customization and all. But only thing is, you will do it using SPRO. Here you are doing directly using the transaction. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Next, let us go to another customization uh, transaction code is there. टाइगर ओके One second, sir. I will write it down yeah, here. Yes, okay. Okay, sir. Okay. See so, here. Actually, so, we don't have to add anything. Already, they have added. So okay. these are the different diagnosis types. See, diagnosis type means uh, there are uh, examples they have given. Critical diagnosis. so somebody if he is severely injured that comes under the emergency diagnosis okay so that you call it as a critical diagnosis long term diagnosis means if somebody some employee is suffering from diabetes or if he is suffering from cancer so to give him treatment it will take long duration it will take long time that is why you have to put such a medical condition under long term diagnosis okay now middle term diagnosis means let's say some employee has fractured his leg while working in the company his leg got fractured so it will take at least 2 uh, 3 months to get ready right it will take some months so that you can put under middle time diagnosis all the other illnesses like cough cold fever all the other you can put it under short term diagnosis okay. so these are the four types of diagnosis which is already given as a standard uh there is nothing there to add anything new so you can leave it as it is okay no need to add any customization but just remember what are the diagnosis type okay now going to uh, the other uh, customization transaction code ehs cmas ehs slash n ehs c ms mas this is for customizing measures customizing medical measures customizing <coughs> medical measure okay all these are uh, i mean medical terminologies but still we can understand at least a little bit out of See any medical measure is there? No, that can be divided into two groups: acute medical yeah, measures no. and chronic mm-hmm. medical measures. Mm-hmm. Acute medical measure means which you can uh, give immediately; it is a short term. Or any medical measure treatment, if you want to give for a long time, that is a chronic measure. 
So there are mm. two types of categories. One is acute measure. Second is chronic measure. So if you want to add any number of medical uh, treatment under acute measure, you can select that, and you should double click on assign medical measure category or specify medical measures. Select one acute measures. Specify medical measures. It means under acute measures, what are the different medical treatments you are providing? That is known as acute medical measure. So what they are providing? One is medication specialist, conversation with NHS professional, and conversation with superior. These are some of the medical measures which are available under. No, no, it is not under acute or chronic. Fine. So these are only the available medical measures. See, there are four medical measures available. medication specialist conversation with ihs professional and conversation with superior these are the total medical measures available now what you can do you can again double click on specify medical measure category the first one about that about that now select again acute select acute yeah now uh, below second uh, option you double click assign medical measure category yeah okay so under acute measures they have only added medication if you want to add even the specialist you can add it go to new entries and add medical measure uh no 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 directly from the list you have to select there drop down drop down button Let's say under acute, you also want to add uh, this conversation with IHS professional. Let's say you want to add that. Double click, press enter. Yeah, add one more conversation with superior. That also you can fit under uh, acute measure because it is not going to help much. You know, if you go and speak to these people, it is not going to make a big difference. So you can put it under acute. Yeah, now you can save this. Continue and uh, go to back button. Click on back button. Then you will find even this is added. See now there are three. One is medication, conversation with IHS professional, and conversation with superior. Okay. All these medical measures are now available under acute measure category. Okay, now again go to the chronic measure, and there you add. Uh, uh, double click on there only. Uh, fine. Go to chronic measure. Double click on assign medical measure categories, and see what you have in there. Okay, you have specialist conversation with IHS professional, and conversation with superior. What you can do, you can remove this two things. Conversation with IHS professional. Select no, 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 not a new entry. Select that row and click on top. There is one red uh, minus button. No, uh, click on that. Okay. Uh, second also. Okay, I remove these two things because they don't come under. Uh, now add one more new. Go to new. Go to new entry. Now select the first option, medication. Enter and so now what happened? Now it is very clear. Under acute, you will find the medication, uh, conversation with IHS, conversation with uh, superior, and under chronic measure, you will find medication and specialist. Fine. Now it is uh, well balanced. Okay. Now you can come out like this. In whichever category you want to put, you can customize. You can and you can put that. <coughs> okay. Understood? Any doubt in this, Yuvraj? No, sir. No, sir. Uh, sir, uh, the yeah. uh, customized consultation, this diagnosis type, and the customizing medical measures. The transaction code which we are using here, mm -hmm. uh, uh, 
if uh, this is uh, how how we are going to use utilize this one sir i, I don't know how we are going to utilize it. that's a point because uh, uh, when we are using this transaction code uh, ehs uh, dp41 and all there is a yeah. tabular column we are creating the company name each and every details oh. we are in the printout yeah. view uh, hmm. there there okay hmm. in this customized consultation properties or uh, this uh, diagnosis type and all how we are going uh -huh. to utilize how we how what is how we are going to um, utilize it yeah yeah see when you are creating medical service okay, okay. let's say you want to send one employee for medical checkup okay mm -hmm. so there you can select whether you are sending that person under chronic uh, medical measure category or mm -hmm. acute uh, uh, medical measure category see these are nothing but settings okay these settings will come into effect when you are creating the data okay so this uh -huh. is actually done by uh, the consultant consultant has to do this job but somehow they have created a transaction code so that even if the end user want to add any new medical measure category he can add it uh -huh. but normally customization is done only by the consultant using spro because okay. end user don't have authority they don't have authorization to make these changes and all this is uh -huh. like you know the settings in the software and those settings are only allowed to be done by the uh, consultants it consultants it is mm -hmm. not allowed for the end user end user can create a laboratory end user mm -hmm. can create a physician they can do all that fine but ah, yeah. customization is not their role they should yes. not touch that okay but sometimes yeah. what happens you know the the company the client mm -hmm. will request they will say look you know every time contacting consultant is very difficult if we want mm. to specially create any medical measure category and all so please mm. do one thing you create one uh, transaction code and give it to us so that mm. if any end user wants to add more number of medical measure categories he he can easily do it okay, so if sir. they request like that only then you know what you will do you will create a separate transaction code and that transaction code will be given to the end user okay so don't think transaction codes are there only whatever sap has given only that no not like that you can create your own transaction code also mm -hmm. okay but so which way do you create... but which we are using yes. this common transaction code na it will it, it it will use anywhere na ha uh ha -huh. it is common it is given by sap sap only it's a common transaction code we can use it yeah, anywhere yeah. it is standard yes okay. yes okay. but sometimes what happens like i told you know if the client request uh, sir please give us uh, create one transaction code uh, if we want to create a new medical measure categories it should be possible for the end user because it is very time consuming asking consultant then consultant doing it is very time consuming so please create a transaction code using this we can do this activity so what mm -hmm. you will do you will create a transaction code a b c d or x y z like that you will create a transaction code and in the mm -hmm. transaction code what activity they can do you will do the uh, programming it will be done by the abap programmer not functional consultant okay they will create the transaction code and they will give it to the client mm -hmm. and you will tell sir uh, i have created a transaction code now you can uh, do this activity no need to depend on the consultant just go to transaction code a b c d and you can do this uh, customization you can do like that they will create and they will give it to the uh client okay so similar to that see whatever three transaction codes i told you know and i told you these are customization transaction code so okay. these transaction codes can be used by the end user it is specially created for the end user okay sir but other things they cannot do see spro they cannot use mm. they cannot do use spro go and change the setting they cannot do that it is only consultant who can do those changes yes yeah, understood understood okay yes clear yes yeah, sir clear okay now what do we see okay now we will go to edit vaccinations now let us say if you want to change some vaccination details of a employee okay or you want to create a new vaccination uh, program for a employee then you can go to this transaction code ehs ba02 
स्लैश एन ये बी ए ये जस्ट बी ए बी 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 फॉर व्हीकल ओके ये फॉर एम्बुलेंस ओके जीरो टू ओके दिस इज फॉर वैक्सीनेशन एडिट वैक्सीनेशन ओके ओके Okay. So slash ये जस्ट ये zero two. Okay. See here. So this is the screen where the vaccination details can be entered for a person. What you have to do first is you should go select the person, person ID. okay it should be employee fine already selected continue now press enter from the list you select any employee's name oh so there is all employee ah hmm. oh, okay okay sir okay and okay. we are currently accessing hr module database okay these details are not in ehs we are accessing hr module okay okay now press enter the names the date of birth everything will fill by itself press enter okay press enter okay see the name Date of birth, everything came, no? Everything came. Now, what you can do is select the date and which uh, vaccination the employee has to take. On that particular date, we can enter those details. Hmm. Okay. Fine. Next category. <coughs> So that is Because one we are under vaccination, vaccine. we have to select only vaccine. Continue. Double click and continue. Mm -hmm. Next, go to this uh, number of protocol. Protocol number that is. Okay. Okay. See, there are three uh, vaccinations available: mm. hepatitis, tetanus, and meningitis. Okay. So, if you want to give your employee, if he has to go through a hepatitis vaccination, we should mm -hmm. select the first protocol. Okay. Double click on first protocol, and select hepatitis A or B vaccination. Okay. Now come to examination type. Okay. So description under no need, na? Yeah. Here. It will come. See, wherever the grey color area you are finding, no. After okay. filling everything, when you press enter, that will come by itself. Okay, okay. This white area only we need to fill up. Fill, fill ah, it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, sir. The examination type. Mm. So uh, it's a initial vaccination. Ah, oh, initial second. vaccination. Yes. Initial Because we are creating for him for the first time. Yeah, first so time. So he will take the first dose, then he will. so brand sorry ah uh, brand name also you can mention ah oh. okay see no okay yeah batch number if you have batch number you can put otherwise no need batch number means the batch number of that uh, vaccination so how many people along with him they are going there na it's a batch number na uh, no 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 it is related to the vaccination see normally what happens if companies uh, purchase the vaccination in bulk quantity what will hmm. happen it will come in batches hmm. okay a set of 100 vaccines let's say that will have one batch number another set uh -huh. of 100 vaccines will have another batch number yes. so when you purchase in bulk quantity you will get this batch number 
yeah yeah so, yeah uh, once, once again, when, they, yeah when they are uh, for us uh, this vaccination initiating time no, they will write down the uh, the the model number from that uh, kit uh, yes yes the, exactly yes, yes exactly yes okay so that is uh, either you can call that or you can also call it as a batch number okay sir. okay again it is not mandatory because in real time if you are purchasing in bulk quantity yes you will get but mm. otherwise if you are sending people to some other medical center for taking the vaccination then definitely you will not be having these details yes okay so you can leave it as it is no need of batch number go to vaccination and you can add some comment under vaccination like you know you can say first dose hmm first dose yeah okay after that see there are four options private done externally done and rejected that is the okay. vaccination status so whichever is applicable that you mm -hmm. have to select see some employees what they will do you know they will say no baba see i have a family member who is a doctor so what i do is i will take the vaccination from him no need to go to the doctor and all so mm -hmm. at that time you can select privately he has taken the vaccination okay or sometimes he will say i will do it externally from some other hospital i will mm -hmm. go and i will take the vaccination so that is externally done or already done if he is already taken the vaccination then mm -hmm. it is just done not okay. externally done it is just done and okay. then you have externally done also i mean if he is going to some other hospital or medical center of his own wish and if he is taking the vaccination see just like your covid covid vaccination you can go to the government hospital also and you can take or if your company is suggesting you to go to some of their own medical center you can go mm -hmm. to their own medical center and you can take the vaccination it is your wish or some employees will say no i will do one thing there is a hospital of my own choice i will go there and i will take so there mm -hmm. are many options available to you to take the vaccination and also there are people who will say no i don't want to take any kind of vaccination they will say they will reject it i will i don't want to take any vaccine so mm -hmm. at that time the vaccine vaccination status will be rejected means mm -hmm. the uh, employee has mm -hmm. rejected to take the vaccination mm -hmm. okay these are the options available you can either select uh, done externally or done or uh, any of the options okay so the whether the uh, employees initially coming to the company so we have to check with him whether he done the covid vaccine first dose second dose or what, yeah. what is the status we need to enter everything yes, once yes, he yes. is done we have to put the status otherwise once he is going to take a vaccine so yeah. we need to yeah. select the date and we need to guide yes, guide yes. him yes okay yes mm. yes so it is like that created if it okay. is a first dose that he has to go and take he can say fine uh he has taken it uh, externally or it is already done externally we can select that okay and along with that we can even mention the physician name uh, mm -hmm. with whom he has taken the let's say if you have a own company physician if he is available you mm -hmm. can enter his name that from this own company uh, physician they have taken the vaccination mm -hmm. so you can select the uh, physician's name and you can say uh, this is a physician with whom the vaccination was taken mm -hmm. okay so just we can enter na some name uh no i don't think you have to select it you have to search and only then you can press enter go to the list see one thing here one difficulty is among this list you don't know who is the doctor yeah okay the sab has not given us a option to search people according to their uh, designation only that option is missing here hmm so what you should do is uh, randomly you should select and you should put it as a physician okay Okay. 
now you can press enter and these details you can save save see when he has to take the next doors even that will be filled automatically you just entered one line now see below hmm. second door after one month then the third yeah. door he has to take after i think uh, three months or five months yes okay and then the booster shot he has to take only after uh, 10 years so these recommendation these dates will be filled automatically depending on the settings okay okay then you can save it has been saved so this is how you can add the vaccinations or if you want to edit some uh, other employees vaccination details you can change it but you should know the name of that person who whose details are already available otherwise it is not possible okay sir understood yes so uh, this uh, uh, this is uh, edit vaccination okay so whether we can create a create yeah, a yeah. Name, otherwise we can edit this person uh, name also na edit this personal yes, yes. Uh, details also yes. Yes, yes either you can create or you can edit already yes. see we don't know no which uh, employee is having this details we don't know so that is why it is better to create for a new employee okay Okay, now we will go to edit a laboratory test. EHS VO31. Uh, sir, once again, EHS? Slash N. EHS VO31. Okay. V okay. for vehicle, U for okay. umbrella. Okay, VU thirty one. Yes. Okay. So Slash. this is for editing laboratory test. Okay. Edit lab test. Edit lab test. Okay. okay. Ah. So see here, you can see in this list there are many types of laboratory tests which are already mentioned. Sometimes what happens? If you want to add, let's say due to medical advancement, another two types of new laboratory tests are included. But those lab tests are not available in my list. So what I can do, I can create a new laboratory test. So for that, go down to the last record. Pull down here. Yeah. Uh, new okay, I think uh, okay, it is coming. Yeah, go down to the empty. Where is the empty row? Go there. Now you can add a test number, some other number you can add, like uh, 452, V452. And let us say some new medical test has come, new laboratory test has come. So I want to create that. No, uh, no need to insert row, it is already there. No, you can enter there. Yeah. V452. And I will say new. Uh, blood test, right? New blood test. Some name I am giving, okay. So it is just for sample purpose. I am saying it, there is some new blood test. Okay. And uh, lab ID, you can again put it as V452. And uh, how do you measure that in terms of units? See, I don't know what unit they will use. I don't know. Maybe you can again use the same thing, milligram per liter. See this medical terminologies. I don't know what happens in real time. The client will give you all these details. You just have to look at the document and you can create it. 
but here since we don't have any real time data so we have to assume and we have to create some data so i believe here the unit of uh, new blood test will be calculated as milligram per liter so select again same thing mg per liter per liter slash l or you can go to the drop down hmm? or you can go to the drop down and you can select milligram per liter Okay, grams. Go to M. There you will find gram per liter, gram per milliliter. I don't know whether it is there or not. Okay, no problem. Select that only. No problem. Okay. Select that. Okay, that's it. Okay. Okay. So that is gram per liter, and what should be the normal range? See, when they do the blood test, what should mm. be the normal range? So you can put a range either like you know from 30 to 80 or something like that. You can put because mm. we don't know. We are just assuming some value. 30 to 80, yeah, that is also fine, normal range. What should be the lower range? Make it 30, and uh, higher range should be 85. No, don't put dash, just put 30. And here put 85. Point. Start date from when do you want to make this test available to the employee? Let us say from 1st Feb, you want to make it active. Correct. So from 1st, this test will be available to the people. End date, you can just put 31 to L, double nine, double nine. Because this is a permanent test, you can put 31, 12, double nine, double nine. So we can enter it now, 51. Ah, you can enter it. Yeah, double nine, double nine. Fine. Now you can, uh, what is this I am just check? Data import permission. Okay. If you want to allow this data to be imported, you can give the permission. Yeah, fine. Now press enter. So this Some changed error? by also. Is it from? Huh? This changed by also we need to give. No 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 no. Not required. Not required. So we can save it. Ah uh, save. Okay fine. So this new medical test or laboratory test has been created. Mm -hmm. Okay now did you understand? This lab yes. test was not there before. This is some kind of a new medical test which has come in the market. Okay. okay. And you want this medical test also to be available to your employees. So what yes. you did, you took consultation with a doctor. The doctor gave you the details of this uh, laboratory test and mm -hmm. you created it as a new blood test. And mm -hmm. these are the values. As per this uh, medical test, the normal range is between 30 to 85 gram per liter. Okay, so any value after you do the blood test, if it is less than 30 or more than 85, it means there is some issue with the uh, person. That is the meaning. Okay, and if it is between 30 and 85, after the blood test, the result is between 30 and 85, you can say it is a normal value. So he doesn't have any other deficiency, it is perfectly fine. So that is the meaning of this laboratory test. Mm -hmm. You are getting no. See, for example, yes, our BP should be between 80 and 120. That is a normal thing. If mm. it is below 80 or above 120, it means our BP is abnormal. It's Similarly, high or yeah, it's very uh, low. Yeah. Uh, yes. Be. Yes. So okay. like that, if you want a normal range for your blood test, it should be between 30 and 85. 85. Like yes. that, I am assuming and I am giving the yeah. range for this. Yeah, understood, sir. Yeah. Uh, 
so this is your laboratory test not only creating new test if you want to edit any other test also you can edit it as per your requirement but again this has to be done as per the consultation or as per the recommendation of the doctor because we are not medical professionals how do i know what value i have to put it is not okay. possible so you should speak with the doctor whatever the doctor is saying according to him you have to create it so if any test we need to remove from the list also we can remove it here Oh, you can so remove it. Yes, remove. yeah, like that. Test we can remove it. For example, sample blood test is there. No, that was created by me only. You can mm. select that sample blood test, third mm. from below, and you can click on that red delete button. Okay. And it, it will be deleted. deleted. Okay, sir. Okay. Yes. Okay. okay. That is the uh, process. Okay. Okay. Okay, so this is your laboratory test. Hmm. Like that, there is one more for uh, physical test. Get it? Physical hmm. test. See, normally, in medical terminology, there are two type of tests. One is known as laboratory test. Another is okay. a physical test. Okay. So now we will go to a transaction code EHS BU twenty one. BU twenty one. Twenty one. Yes. Okay, physical test. Okay. Yeah. Yes. So see, these are the physical tests. I mean, I don't have to tell you. You already know. Uh, yeah. If they want to check your left ear, right ear, or your vision. Hmm. Okay, your height, body mass index. All these tests actually come under physical test. Okay. So, if you want to edit some of the details of already existing physical test, you can change. Or if you want to create a new physical test as part mm. of your uh, list of material, uh, physical tests, you can mm. create a new physical test also. Just like how we created for a laboratory test, same same procedure. Okay, sir. You can go down and you can create some test if you want. Maybe weight weight is already there. You can add some more. Body temperature was actually created by me. Now you can add some five zero one zero test number. Five zero one zero. And what physical test you want to? Uh, new new weight new body weight group. Put body weight. Body weight. I think body weight is fine. Okay. Let us assume this was not there in the list. Weight and all was not there. Hmm. So what should be the ideal weight? I think maybe 45 kilogram. No, it is not 70. Hmm. It it should be somewhere like 45 to uh, 65. Yeah, that should be the ideal weight for any person. Oh. Low, you put forty-five, 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 forty-five. Forty-five, na? Ah, okay, okay. Thirty-five is a uh, very less. Yeah, very less. Forty-five, okay. Forty-five to seventy-five. Sixty-five or seventy, anything. Okay. Seventy. Uh, yeah. And what is the unit? Kg. This I don't know what it is. Uh, this is like company, company test number. Uh, not required. Okay. Started it again. You can make it uh, available from first. Okay. So and again, also this is a permanent test. Okay. 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 Press enter. Okay. And then save this test. So this is a, again a new uh, physical test you have added to the yeah. existing list of physical tests. So if if we want to edit the here body temperature data means directly we can go and edit. Ah, uh, you That's can it. directly enter. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you can the temperature adjustment we can do directly like this ninety six point five something yeah. and uh, enter. You can say. 
and we have to save it okay this is quite easy okay sir okay fine understood yes <clears throat> okay so uh, these are some of the transaction codes today okay uh, next week we will continue there are many more tra very important transaction codes are there especially related okay. to how to create a medical service how to take an appointment mm -hmm. okay how to create a uh, health surveillance protocol mm -hmm. how to assign a health surveillance protocol to an employee all those transaction codes are very interesting actually okay sir and also there is another transaction code to create brief consultation see i told you know brief consultation means if you have a headache you can go to the doctor we can ask the doctor to give a, a headache medicine so that is a brief consultation okay so how to create that there is a transaction code for that also we will see the remaining transaction codes uh, in the coming uh, we can yes okay up to now is there any doubt uh, did you understand um, this session yeah sir i completely understand no issues just i will uh... Let me do the creation, sir, for this uh, BP fifty one oh, and yeah, BP yeah, yeah. eleven. I will create it my on my own. So if if there is any doubt, I will let yes. you. Know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You take the screenshot and send to me. I don't. Uh, I think it should be possible. Uh, no issue. And mm -hmm. also, please message Pallavi to give you the server. Yeah, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. So three things you have to create. One is uh health center uh physician and external company okay uh how i can send it to you this one uh you can take a picture see once you create it after saving hmm. okay the number will be given no internal number assignment will be given so ah, you yeah, just yeah. take a picture and send it to my wife. okay sir okay okay fine. okay sir fine. yeah yeah Okay. Okay, no. Okay. Fine, uh, Ibrahim. Then I will wind up today. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Next week, uh, we'll uh, continue the other transaction. Yes, sir. Sure, definitely. Yes. Okay. Fine, okay, sir. Take care. Yes, okay. sir. Bye.